coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Well, it's been a nice and dry weekend across the Wabash Valley, but our attention is turning to the chance for some rain as we get into the middle part of the week. Maybe a spotty shower or two tomorrow afternoon, but widespread rains expected as we get into the day on Tuesday, and some of that rain could be heavy at times. The culprit? What's going to be left of what's now Tropical Storm Barrel? You can see it's still spinning just off the southeast coast of Texas. Expected to make landfall uh, tomorrow morning between Corpus Christi and Houston. Right now it's still at tropical storm strength with 70 mile per hour winds. If that gets above 74 miles an hour, that would officially make it a Category 1 hurricane, which the National Hurricane Center is still calling for as it makes landfalls. So we'll watch that closely as we get into tomorrow morning. But it's after that you see the remnants of the system look to track right over the Wabash Valley, and that will bring with it the possibility for some of that heavy rain. So as we look at our precipitation chances over the next five days, again, maybe an isolated shower tomorrow afternoon in the heat of the day, but the best chance of rain is going to come during the day on Tuesday, Tuesday night, and then going into the first part of Wednesday. Depending on the speed of this system, we may back that chance down on Wednesday, and a good part of the day may end up dry, but still going to be some wiggle room between now and then. So looking at the heavy rain potential with this system, I'm not putting numbers on this map because I think they're going to change quite a bit in the next 24 hours or so. Uh, the latest update had the heaviest rain to our northwest, but the track has been shifting farther to the southeast. So wherever the center of that low pressure system goes or what's left of barrel, that's going to be where we see the heaviest rain. And so that could shift and impact parts of the Wabash Valley. If that happens, we could easily see more than an inch or two of rain, which we could certainly use because much of the area is considered to be in a drought, if not abnormally dry. So that would definitely bring some benefit official rain, but also the possibility for some gusty wind as that uh, remnant system comes right over the area. But we're not going to have to worry about that tomorrow. Again, if you have anything you want to do before the rain gets here, tomorrow will be a dry day. We'll take future casts through the overnight hours, seeing a mostly clear sky. I do think we'll see some more clouds throughout the course of the day on Monday, especially by the time we get to the afternoon. Still going to be hot and humid with highs in the lower 90s, but as we get into the afternoon, that's when we bring in that chance for a spotty shower or thunderstorm just in the heat of the day. Another chance is going to be as we get into Monday night going into Tuesday, and then Tuesday mornings when we start to see the moisture come in ahead of Tropical Storm Barrel or what's left of it. And so you can see those rain showers moving through. This pans out. Tuesday could end up being the soggiest day of the next seven. And there will be the possibility for some thunderstorms mixed up in some of that activity as well. You can see that scattered shower and thunderstorm activity continues Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning. And then once that area of low pressure clears the area, that will take the chance of rain with it. So again, if the timing works out on this, we may end up with some dry time by the time we get to Wednesday afternoon. Temperature-wise right now, not too bad across the Wabash Valley. We're dropping down into the lower 70s. Still a bit on the sticky side when it comes to that humidity. For tonight, we'll drop down to 66 for the overnight low under a mostly clear sky. Just a light breeze, so not going to move the air around too much. 90 degrees for the high tomorrow. Sunshine in the morning, but clouds building in through the afternoon. Tomorrow night, we'll see those scattered showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder. Otherwise, warm and muggy with a low around 77. Seven-day forecast showing that chance of rain Tuesday and Wednesday from the remnants of barrel. But after that, looks like we'll dry out once again with temperatures climbing back into the 90s by the time we head to next weekend.